What is up, everyone? It is Lavenji Gaming, and we are here with game number two of the seven map show match between the number one and number two ranked players. Populous reincarnated. Spawning in is the yellow tribe in this base. For those of you that don't face off, I don't. Spawning in is the yellow tribe. We have, he's up one game already, representing clan divinity slaves. Is Nisi moving towards mid, getting a good convert, getting contested by his opponent, down one game so far on an incredible Idrisil match, representing clan overpowered, it is Babo. So I had to do the intro a little quickly here, because as is the often the case with this map, this is Face Me. This is a 1v1 variant of Face Off, it has a couple more trees, um, does not feature the monstrous blue base that nobody likes to play. I believe this is yellow base. And I, I don't know whose base this is. I don't, I, I don't know. Ah. But as we can see, early blasts are important. And we can see that uh, Nisi is at 18 pop. Babo also at 18 pop. Slightly ahead in the hut lead. Oh, Babo's about to beat the living crap out of this brave. There you go. But uh, Nisi's now heading to the back of his base for the combat. And it looks like Babo's going to do the same. So you often see this on face off. Both shamans rush to the middle to try and win the combat here. Oh, he's got two stuck braves. No. He's going to force them out. There you go. Players will rush to the middle, fight for these contested converts, and immediately return to the back of their base to finish out the converts here. Main reason for that being is these aren't ever going to get stolen by your enemy, whereas if you let your enemy have this, you're at an immediate big disadvantage. Two wild men spawning and grouping up there. A little bit unfortunate for Babo. If this brave can complete this tower, which he cannot, it would be very good for Babo because he could just sit his shaman in it and control the middle. Neither player has actually begun charging a spell yet, outside of their usual blasts. If Babo sends a, war a brave forward, he could finish this, hut, this guard tower. It's so close to complete. Securing the middle is very important for face off. Blast from Babo. Oh! Follow-up blast is good. Gets Nisi to bounce off the hut. Babo is well known to hate this map, and his hatred for this map might lead him to do some uh, very aggressive plays just to try to end the map as quickly as possible. Now, he has completed one guard tower. I wouldn't be surprised if he puts more than one down and starts building on them as well. Now, what do you do if you lose control of the middle on faceoff? Well, you look to side door. There's two potential angles. Nisi could take a short route here. Or he can go the long way here. You typically see this one more often. But we're looking to see a warrior training hut go down, which has already happened, and warriors to be made. Oh, Babo's not watching his shaman, but Nisi misses three blasts. Blast tricking is good from Babo. Nisi is trying to... He needs to stop that fire warrior getting into that tower. But I think Nisi's out of blasts. No, Nisi just about charges another blast. Babo's followers are in danger. Oh, Nisi into the water again. Gotta be honest, there's a little bit of bad blasting there. Tried to do some fancy shenanigans here, but uh, ultimately did not uh, succeed. It was so very close. The blast tricks were on point for Babo. But uh, very good from Nisi here to interrupt those fire warriors. Every fire warrior trained is a hit to your opponent's mana as well as their population. And yes, streamer pointed out one very important thing. Babo's still only at 23 population, whereas Nisi has skyrocketed to 39. So although Babo has control of the mid game, Nisi is just gonna run away with this game again, I think, because he's building faster, he's upgrading faster, he's dismantling faster. You can see the warriors are being made. We're gonna see the side door come out, and I think Babo will just fall apart. I think he might overinvest in the middle. But 
That is just my prediction. I could be wrong. I very often am wrong. We'll see what the players choose to do. As we have a moment of silence. You can see at the back of this base here, Nisi dismantling huts like a machine. It's got three huts on the go. This used to be a hut, I'm sure. Warriors already moving over to the side. Let's see them sneaking on over. This is probably going to get this earthquake and then immediately get two land bridges. And we'll see that side door come in. Babo behind the curve on the earthquake because, of course, he was slower to get his population up. And it's exactly as we called it. This is going for those land bridges now. The map's going to open up here. Um, typically what I like to see from one of the players if they secure the mid is actually a warrior training hut up here. Because if you get sided, people put their warrior huts at the back. Babo hasn't even got a warrior hut at the moment. But people put their training huts at the back. And it can often help to have a training hut up here on the hill. Shamandul going down. Both players hitting down a blast. Babo throws down an earthquake onto the front of Nisi's base. But it's not really an important earthquake. Yeah, you can see it really doesn't do much at all. It shook down this and it damaged this. Yes, it got rid of some spots where Nisi could potentially put down extra huts, but Nisi hadn't built those huts. And here come warriors. Nisi's actually not going to go for the side door. He's charging swarm. He's moving towards the hill. These braves need to interrupt the warriors and keep them busy for as long as possible. Yeah, Babo's desire to leave the hill and attack Nisi. Probably not the best. He didn't have troops. Nisi's now just got the high ground. Warriors and fire warriors to the high ground. There is still a fire warrior in a tower. Babo arrives just in time to stop the warrior getting to him. But uh, Nisi's swarm will take care of it. Oh, Nisi's very low on hit points. We saw the shaman being dizzy. Combined shot from the fire warrior and the shaman. But Babo manages to blast trick it. Oh, these blasts are not good. Babo really wants to get that Fire Warrior because it's the thing that will stop his Shaman reapproaching the high ground. He does get the Fire Warrior. If he can just get his Shaman in tower. Oh, good convert to use the Blast trick there. I guess that's technically the convert trick. And now Nisa's going to push into Babo's base. Babo's lost the hill. He was behind Nisi to begin with anyway, and it's really going to show now. Especially as that earthquake comes down in amongst all the huts. Fire warriors do fire up a couple of volleys and actually manage to kill the shaman. Actually, that earthquake isn't the end of the world. Obviously, you'd rather not be being earthquaked at all, but uh, only one hut taken out there. You can live with that. These troops on the high ground, these are going to be the problem. They're going to take out the towers, and fire warriors are going to stop Baba Shaman getting onto the high ground again. Now, be interesting to see what Nisi does next. He's already sending braves to the high grounds, collecting the wood. Is he building towers? I think he is. Yeah, Baba's now at the point where he's got to try and clear out these fire warriors. Charge a swarm, man. Charge a swarm. Baba says, gee... And that's game number two. Another £10 bounty into Nisi's pocket.